date is today? I think it's May 21st. We'll say May 21st. It's May 21st, 2016 at about 2.30 and we are back with the blog, which we'll kind of talk about the state of the blog a little bit after we're done shooting Justin crushing TVs. Um, we got a bunch of TVs in and a big donation recently. We've got nothing that we can do with them and we figure we have a new robot. We haven't done anything particularly cool with it yet and we have a bunch of TVs that we need to get rid of so let's crush them. And the entire point of today is to hopefully have a more successful video than the last time we tried to crush something. Which was with Jeff about two years ago I think. That video doesn't exist anymore, for good reason. People really hated that it failed. But anyway, we're working on setup, me and Steve, and today's plan is mostly just to put a bunch of cameras everywhere and see what we can make of it in post. I'm thinking this will be a Cuz We Can video. Um, it doesn't really fit anywhere else yet, and we don't really have a dedicated robotic series yet. So this will be more of a whatever fun the edi editor can make of it type video. <laughs> Why did you just... tries, but I got, the, I got the password. So you had to fist punch the air? Yeah. That's a redundant phrase. Anyway, so we have two GoPros that we're going to mount to Jeff. And Justin. Yeah, I'm going to do that a lot. Anyway, we figured out at least part of him is magnetic, so we have a little gorilla mount. But we're also going to be placing two NX-5s, um, I don't one, want to in the one adventure cam probably in front of it. It's a sacrificial camera compared to the other, so that's where it'll go. And then we're hoping to possibly, if things start to actually crush and explode, use the Edgertronic to get some slow-mo of it. But we're not going to bother getting it out right away until we know some of the TVs will explode and if we can even put it somewhere safe and still get the best parts of the shot. So yeah, stay tuned. Camera one. Camera two. Camera three. Camera four. Cat. Camera five. And now we're set up and doing well, right now you're gonna do a final do test sure. of well, the robot fun. to make sure it doesn't punch through the big blue rolly thing there. So it's a little faster. Okay. There'd be contact with the TV. That's a lot more than a third. faster than last time. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That was for the tiny ones. It's for the tiny ones? Yes. All right. Show me for the big ones. The one we moved the same. Oh, okay. Show me for the medium. Okay. That's a medium monitor there? Uh, I'm sitting in front. I have notes that will tell me what the dimension cutoff was. Okay. Go ahead. They are not in my brain at the moment. <laughs> Way to express that. Come up full speed. Okay, we got to work on deceleration ramps on that. Hey Sam, did you see that too? Yeah. Run that, run that whole program full speed. Just hold on a second. I don't think that's base, I think that's on. Well, I don't know. All right. Uh, yeah, go ahead. The robot. <laughs> That's the arm. All right. 
That's pretty cool. Are those bolts really, really tight? It is. The yes. ones into the concrete? Yes. Okay. Casey tight. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm cool with it. It's just a little terrifying. We've never had a robot move this fast before. So. We're going to finish setting up and then be sure. Kind of goes a little ding. Yeah. So we're playing with the monopod today. I'm not used to it. Show them what you just did. Oh, well, I needed to get a low angle shot of something, so I just popped the head and... That's not what you did. You mean the part where I stood up and made a fool of myself? No. I mean, that's not how you did it. Uh... I don't remember. I did one of these. Like a toy pony. It's a little bit like a toy pony. They just amused me. So we are rolling on all cameras. We are hopefully doing final setup. This does not want to focus on that screen. There we go. As you can see, we just have a little TV. Yeah, I'm gonna take five seconds. I'm gonna take everyone's time. Alright. And you will get to see the first crush. Hopefully. Oh, you're driving. This is all you, but you're not gonna be standing here when that goes. You need to be off axis, way, way back behind things. So there you go. That's the first one. Um, yeah. All right. So we're going to shoot leave these. The skateboard moving. And yeah, you will hopefully get to see the fruits of this labor pretty soon. I'll talk about that more after this. No. No, over there. So the torque. Um, the force on the robot turns out was enough to send the top GoPro flying number two so we might have to put that back just maybe So we decided about four or five TVs in that we're going to give the Edgetronic a shot after all. So we're near setting up. We're just doing focus at the moment. That's as good as I can get it. Looks pretty good to me. We have it nestled over where Steve originally was before we had him move because, you know, glass going everywhere, danger. But that's what we're getting at the moment. Are you happy? I'm always happy. Okay. Let's crush more TVs. So, shoot's done. That took about two, two and a half hours. It was a pretty long one. Had a lot of setup in between each take. Um, so, yeah, we actually got some really good footage after that first shot you saw. And I think it's actually going to make it really cool because we can or something like that. Maybe we'll start it off as like the first official robotics video. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I think. That might actually be the first video I used for our editing live streams that we're going to start doing. Um, which, if you haven't heard about it, 
those are actually part of the new Patreon page I've set up for the Geek Group. So, um, the, lo the whole thing behind that is, is Steve and I do this full time and basically the YouTube revenue is not enough money to help the department grow because we're to the point where we have so many videos we could be making if we had like a dedicated team and not just interns or volunteers that are rather nebulously around at best at times. Like an intern comes in, we get them trained in how we do things and then they're here for maybe another month after they like get it and get the practice to do it well and then they're gone because the semester ends. So we're hoping to use Patreon to support the department in general and actually hire new permanent staff or at least far more permanent than, you know, an intern is at the moment. Um, quite a few of you have already donated. Um, you can see here, we already have 26 patrons. That does not want to focus, but you can kind of make out the 26. There it goes. Um, so to everyone who's already um, chipped in on this experiment, thank you a whole lot. Um, and if you haven't seen it yet, I've already set up a calendar of events, so if there's like a live stream or a Q&A or something coming up that is patrons only, um, you'll be able to look it up and see what's about to be happening there. Um, the first live stream or, and Q&A in that may be open to everyone just so everyone can kind of see what's going to be happening and giving feedback, but after that it will be patrons only. Um, and if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see or anything like that, especially as we go forward, because there's no big overarching plan yet uh, concerning like specific tutorials or anything, um, let me know uh, either on Patreon or in the comments below. Um, and yeah, and basically we're hoping to use this to support the channels we already have, the main channel, uh, the Toolkit and the AV Geeks channel, as well as grow the videos we're going to be doing here at the lab into more separate channels. So we're trying to make more of an educational network, I guess, because we have everything here to do that, except people. <laughs> so um, with your help, we might be able to get more people and take work off of his poor back. So yeah, if you have any questions, ask away. I will answer as best as I can. Um, and that's pretty much the day. It's 20 to 6 right now, and I am absolutely fried. So I will see you next time.